Um, adversity is definitely something that we're familiar with. Uh, for us, about seven years ago, we started going through some things that were definitely designed to tear our relationship apart, you know? And um, our relationship was definitely in a broken place, you know? We were going through a lot of hurt and pain and even separation. We were on the brink of divorce, you know? Something told us, you know, like we need to start praying more together. Right. And at that time, we ended up open our, opening our relationship up to marriage coaching and counseling. And that's when crazy Martez and Wadrina walked into our life along with other like-minded individuals. And they started speaking life back into our relationship. Yes. And seven years ago, it was broken. In almost five years, our marriage has been restored. Can I get a hallelujah? Amen now. We're here today because Martez shared his vision of the Married for Life walk. And we knew that it was something that we wanted to be a part of to help shine the light on marriages. We are extremely passionate about this initiative because we believe in the, the power of family and we, we are passionate about the future of our family. We value love. We value commitment. And this walk enables us to empower the couples, all of you all, to never let go of the hand you are holding. It is extremely important, especially in today's society, that we stay committed to our marriages because marriage is the backbone of family and family is the foundation of our community. Yes, indeed. I commit to listening more, judging less, and making sure you know that you are my number one priority. I do love you. I do desire to spend the rest of my life with you. I do respect and honor you. I commit to forgiving you daily as Christ forgives me. I commit to walking with you, to holding your hand, and never letting go. I love you. Say your husband's name. Five second rule, so y'all don't be out here doing the most now. Come on. All right, here we go. You ready? Let's go. All right, lick your lips, let's go. One, two, three. I'm counting. One Mississippi, four and a half, five. There we go. Hey, I, hey, hey, all right now. Uh, hey, okay, let me get out of here. Who am I? However old you are, that's how long it should take you to take a shower. You hear me? I got an eight year old, 11 year old, 13 year old. The eight year old is the one, he the one who the water. Eight years old. I tell him, look, you got eight minutes. I put my time on. Flip, go ahead. The other day, I told him to get in the shower. 20 minutes went by. I looked at my clock. I said, you know what? Let me go up here. I'm hollering his name. He ain't even hear me. Hey, hey, hey. I got upstairs. He ain't even in the shower. The, the water running. He's doing the fortnight in the marriage. <laughs> I tell <damn>. him. <laughs> I wish I had some insurance on him. I'd have got him that day. <laughs> 